Hey guys, my name is Bhaskar and welcome to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'm going to brush over the basics of how you can get started, the settings that you need to use and how to start your first video editing on Adobe After Effects. And let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is open Adobe After Effects. So the first time when you open After Effects, this screen is going to pop up in front of your laptop or your desktop. So you need to select on new project here. So when I click on new project, a completely new timeline is set and you might be seeing a lot of options on your screen right now. Do not worry, I'll explain each one of them individually. So today I'm going to talk about new composition, how you're going to set up a composition and make your platform, make your software ready for editing your videos or motion graphics. So you need to set up a new composition first. So there are three different ways you can set up a composition. So you can either click on this new composition button or you can click on this particular icon here. This is also going to create a new composition or you can come to composition here click on new composition and again a new composition will be selected so you can use any one of the three methods that i've shown just here to create a new composition in after effects so i'm just going to click on new composition here and now you need to follow certain settings that we are going to use to make sure that your laptop or your desktop is properly optimized to take care of your editing so the first thing that you need to do is name your composition for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to name this demo then after naming a composition you will need to define these settings that you see in front of your screen right now so now the next thing that you need to do is take care of these basic settings so the first thing that you will see is the resolution so now this is a 1080p timeline and hence my resolution is 1920 by 1080p but you can have some other timeline also if i type in 1280 by 720 then it will mean I will be on a 720p timeline here. Then keep the pixel aspect ratio to square pixels only. And now the next thing that you need to select is the frame rate. So make sure that the frame rate of your composition matches the frame rate of your video or the particular motion graphics you want your export your video into. If you do not understand frame rates, don't worry, I'll make a separate video where I'm going to explain all the different frame rates and what are the best possible situations to use those particular frame rates. But as of right now, what you need to do is set the composition frame rate to the frame rate of your video. So if you have recorded your video at 24 frames, then set it to 24 frames. If you have recorded the video at 60 frames, then you can also set this to 60 frames. And I was going to set it to 60 frames here to just show an example here. Now the next thing that you need to select is the resolution here. Now this is not the resolution for your video. Your video is anyways going to be exported in maximum resolution. But this is a resolution for the composition at which we are going to play back and ramp preview our clips. So that is the resolution we need to set here. So if I set it in full, it can be a little difficult for the laptop to take care of because you will be rendering your clip at full resolution of your video. But if I set it to half or say third or a quarter, then it makes it easier for my laptop to take care of the editing and the playback. So if you're on a low spec laptop or a desktop, then set it to half or third. But if you have a very high end laptop, if you have the minimum RAM specifications for your particular version of Adobe After Effects and you have optimum graphics card, then definitely set this to full. So I'm just going to keep it at half here because that works best for me. Then the next thing that you need to do is set a duration for your particular composition, which basically means how long your composition is going to be. So you need to understand how the duration is written here. The last two zeros are the frames and the next two are the seconds. The next two are the minutes and the last one is the hour. So let's say I want a composition that is 15 seconds long. So I'm just going to type 15 here and just let it be. Now the background color is the color of the composition that is going to be set in the background where you are going to make all your edits. So you can set this to any color you want. I like it black but you can also change it to white or change it to red or any color that you want. And now your basic settings are done. Now one more thing that you need to do with the composition settings is go to this 3D renderer tab here and make sure you're selected on classic 3D. Do not select Cinema 4D or Ray Trace 3D. This is going to be extremely intensive for a laptop or a desktop and it can significantly slow your software down. So you need to make sure you are always on classic 3D. And once you're done with all these different settings, click on OK. Now, as you can see, a new composition has been created and I am ready now to import my videos and start editing on it. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to import your clips and start editing them on this particular composition. So I hope you like this video. If you did, then definitely give this video a thumbs up, press the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. It gives me a lot of encouragement to make more videos and bring it to you guys. So stay safe, guys. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.